In this video, I will show you how to configure two-factor authentication on a 40 gate firewall. I will show you different methods on how to assign 40 token to your device. I will also show you the basic troubleshooting tips. Let's begin. I just configured the very basic SSL VPN on this firewall. Under SSL VPN settings, you can see the listening interface is the WAN 1. And the listening port is 10443. If we scroll down to the bottom, I created this SSL VPN group which currently have multiple users. For the portal, we are using the full access. Let's take a look at the SSL VPN portals. Click the full access to view the details. This is currently the default setting. The split tunneling is enabled so I will use my own network to access internet and I can only access the remote LAN network. You can disable the split tunneling if you want the SSL VPN users to access the internet through this firewall. I also configured the firewall policy for SSL VPN users. The source would be the SSL VPN tunnel interface. This interface will be automatically created after you configure the SSL VPN settings. The outgoing interface is the LAN since I want SSL VPN to access the LAN network. The source is the SSL VPN user group and the SSL VPN IP address. Destination is the LAN network. Schedule to always or anytime. Services to all. These are just the very basic configuration. Let's now check the SSL VPN users. Go to user and authentication. Choose user definition. We can see here the users. Notice that the two-factor authentication is disabled. This is because we haven't enabled it yet. Let's check the 40 tokens. By default, we have two free 40 tokens for each 40 gate device. You need to purchase 40 tokens if you need more. You can check my other video on how to add 40 tokens. We need to re-add these 4 tokens first before we can use them. We need to delete them first one by one. Just simply tick on the token then tick delete, and confirm to delete. Once both tokens have been deleted, at the top, tick import free trial tokens. The two free 40 tokens will be automatically added. Let's go back to the user definition. Choose the SSL VPN user you want to enable the two-factor authentication. For this demo, we will choose Jack. Double click on it to edit. Enable two-factor authentication. For the authentication type, choose 40 token. Now choose any available token. All the available 40 tokens will be displayed here. Next is the email address. Make sure to use a valid email address because you will receive the activation code. Alternatively, we can also configure the SMS to receive the activation code. We can add both details and then choose where to receive the activation code later. Enable the SMS. Choose the country, you can scroll down or use the search feature. Now, enter the phone number. Click OK to save the changes. We can now see that the 140 token has been bonded to the user jack. To generate the activation code, double click on it. Again make sure the email address is valid. We have two options, we can generate the activation code via email or SMS. If you want to receive the activation code via email then choose send activation code email. Choose send activation code SMS if you want it to receive as it is SMS. Let's choose the email. You can send it on both platforms if you want. Click on which one you prefer. You will see the pop-up at the top right of the screen. Activation code sent. Now, open your email address. You should have received this email FTM activation on 40 gate. If you haven't received this email then refresh the page or wait for a few minutes. I'll show a different method later on if you still haven't received the activation code through email. Let's open the email received. If you are using Outlook then you can see the photo attachment. Since I used my Gmail account then I will scroll down to see the photo attachment. This will be the code we will use to complete the process. Now, tick download. Double click on the downloaded file. At the bottom right, zoom the photo so that we can easily scan the code. The next is open the 40 token mobile on your phone. 
If you haven't installed it yet then you can follow these steps. You can skip this step if you already installed the application. If you are using iPhone then go to the App Store. Open Play Store for Android phones. Search for 40 Token Mobile. Look for the 40 Token Mobile with this logo. Install the application. Once done, click Open. Click Allow to allow notifications. The application has now been installed. Now, we need to scan the barcode received by email. Tick Scan Barcode on your 40 Token Mobile. Point your phone camera to the barcode on your computer screen. Once you see this code on your 40 Token Mobile then it means you successfully enabled the two-factor authentication for the SSL VPN user. If we go back to the 40 Gate Firewall. User and Authentication. 40 Token. Notice that the status changed from Pending to Assigned. Next is we are going to install the 40 Client. You can skip this step if you already installed the application on your device. Open a web browser. Search for 40 Client Download. Choose the first link which is 40Net's official website. Scroll down to the bottom and look for 40 Client VPN. Choose your operating system. We have the version for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, etc. Since I am using Windows 11 then I will choose Windows. You can check my other video on how to install on Linux and also Mac OS. Tick Download to proceed. Let's check the downloaded file. You can manually go to the Downloads folder or you can simply tick on the folder icon. Double click on it to install the executable file. Wait for it to complete the download process. This may take a bit of time depending on your internet speed. Tick the box to agree to the license agreement then tick Next. Tick Install to proceed. It will now install the application. I will fast forward the video. Notice the shortcut icon that has been automatically created on the desktop. The application has now been installed. Tick Finish. Now, let's launch the 40 Client VPN. Check the box then tick Accept. Tick Configure VPN. Enter the SSL VPN settings. Enter the connection name you prefer for the remote gateway. Either you enter the public IP address of the remote site or the dynamic DNS. Dynamic DNS is very useful if you are not using a fixed public IP address. You can check my other video on how to configure the dynamic DNS. You can check the link on the description below. Next is enter the listening port. In my case, it's 10443. Tick Save Login for you not to enter your username every time you want to access the remote site. Enter the SSL VPN user ID. In my case it's Jack. Save the configuration. Enter your SSL VPN password. Click Connect to proceed. At the taskbar, a notification will pop up. Tick on it to view. Tick Yes to proceed. Now, you have to enter the token from the 40 Token Mobile. Open back your 40 token mobile. Click on the eye icon to view the code. This code will automatically change after the countdown. Enter the code on the 40 client application. Click and hold the eye icon to verify. Once confirmed, click OK to proceed. You can now close the 40 token mobile. We have now successfully configured the two factor authentication. You can proceed to do it on other users you want. To verify, we can open a command prompt and then try to ping the remote site gateway IP address. We should be able to reach. If failed then you need to check your SSL VPN configuration setting or the firewall policy. In some cases, you will not receive the activation barcode on your email address. You need to check the firewall settings. Make sure the email service is configured correctly. Alternatively, we can activate the 40 token using the activation code. Go back to the firewall. Go to log and report. Choose system events. Find the message send token followed by the token serial number. Double click on it to view the details. On the right side window. You can view the complete logs. Focus on the message. Send token followed by the serial number and the activation code. Now. Open back the 40 token mobile. Let's delete first the token we added earlier. 
Tick Manage. Tick the minus sign to remove the 40 token. Choose Delete to proceed. Now, choose Enter manually. Under Third Party Accounts, choose Other. Enter your preferred name. Enter the code that we gathered from the logs. Make sure to enter the activation code correctly. Once confirmed, tick Done to proceed. We have now successfully activated the 40 token using the activation code, not the activation barcode. Next is I will show you how to reassign a 40 token, assuming the SSL VPN user resigned, where you want to use 40 token to a different SSL VPN user. If we open the SSL VPN user who doesn't have two-factor authentication, and if we enable the two-factor authentication, there is no available 40 token because the two free tokens are already in use. To reassign a token, we need to disable the 40 token for that user who is no longer an SSL VPN user or you want to reassign. Simply tick on two-factor authentication to disable then tick OK to save the changes. Now, open the SSL VPN user you want to assign the new token. Enable two-factor authentication. Authentication type is 40 token. Notice that there is now an available 40 token since we disabled the other SSL VPN user's two-factor authentication. Next is enter a valid email address then click OK to save the changes. We have now reassigned the 40 token to another SSL VPN user. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.